Yeah, oh, welcome back to Geek Out Gaijin, and we are back with another uh, video game and toy hunt that would also include original soundtracks and art books that I am uh, that I like. So we will be checking this out. Uh, we are now in Saitama Prefecture. In, oh, sorry, sorry. We are now in Tochigi Prefecture. I'm a little bit uh, uh, jaded because uh, it's been quite a while since I have done this. So anyway, we're gonna be checking out this book of slash heart of combo here, which is a two-story, uh, two-story facility. Uh, looks promising. This is the first time I have been. I will be visiting this the first time. So let's check it out. Japan games toys look out gaijin. So it was quite a maze here and I finally found the uh, game book section which would house the illustrations which is the only type of books that I actually buy when I go on this uh, BG Game and Toy Hunt. So let's check this out. Okay, so they have, uh, this is Splatoon Ikasu art book. So this is from uh, Splatoon 1. That's a very nice price for 1,000 yen. Now Dragon Poker, I'm not really uh, that uh, knowledgeable regarding that. This one I already have. Let's see if it's cheaper. Uh, it's actually much more expensive than what I got it for. So this looks nice. 800 gen uh, Monster Hunter CG artworks. Mm, this would be into consideration. Very cheap. Only uh, 800 gen. Chris Magic Academy, Art of Apex Legends, 3000. If it was a bit cheaper, I would get definitely get this for my son. So, this one I already have. Also, this one I already have that. Uh, Tales of the World Regent Mythology, 110 yen. Another nicely priced. Oh, this one I want. Sino Saga. Official design material. This one will be grabbing. It's only 800. Uh, since I really love Cosmos. So, uh, okay, so lots of Grand Blue uh, fantasy stuff here. Hmm, diabolic. So, these are more on the Ottoman games so these are guidebooks they are not these are not uh illustration books so this would be the only illustration books and they also have Genshin impact ah, that one i already have i got it for 500 gen anyway i think we're good uh in regards to the art books got this one I'm really happy with this score okay and if you are looking for um, game soundtrack I just look for this particular sign so that's anime so they usually classify them as anime and here we see uh, I have already gotten the Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 so this is the anniversary collection so that's a little bit pricier. Um, here's a near automata down here. So to find a little bit pricey for my taste. I'm actually trying to find uh, the world ends with you right now. So uh, I'm just gonna go through this because it's really hard to film this while I'm checking them out. So see you guys in a bit. There's one of the things I've found, Pokemon Red and Green Super Music Collection, 2300 uh, over the limit for uh, my liking when it comes to original soundtracks, so passing on this. This is a nice artwork of Final Fantasy VII, so Before Crisis, 720, really nice CD. I found it and for a really awesome price of uh, 630 yen, so here it is. 
finally have it. Really happy that I found what I'm looking for in the OSD section. Um, they have a really nice selection anyway, both in anime and in video games. So uh, if you're an audiophile like to collect things, uh, I'll just see these. Highly recommend it. Where they have the card, and uh, we are here in the video game section. So, uh, browsing through here, I think that we found uh, Famicom Detective Squad 7200 gen, but uh, this one is cheap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't for 100. Also, this one. But here is a uh, brigand then, and price at 4100. Sadly, this is. Um, this has such a huge uh, UV ray damage that why it's priced like that so sadly that's not a really good condition so returning it so yeah about the relation uh, scan down in price so uh, so well, price prices for not much and mortal shell here one thousand one six fifty fair price fair price so not much into the playstation high stuff but they have some sales here on the regular stuff so uh, not really trying to find anything when it comes to uh, a Nintendo Switch just looking for things like this see Battle Alliance Collector's Edition 4100 that's a nice price let's check it out so this is still sealed so for this price I'm really really thinking hard about this one just telling myself I don't I no longer have any space so maybe I might be passing on this but uh, I have to think about this one okay checking the other uh, collector's items here so that's cheap anyway that does not have any English on that so I tend to pass up on most of the things uh, that I, I just don't just then I really pass on the things that do not have full English language support so nothing really out of the ordinary here i have to pay for my cd and my art book first before i proceed to the second floor so i'm gonna pay for this see you on the upper floor okay so we will be proceeding to the second floor which is the heart of area uh we have finished uh, going through the book of area hopefully there are some nice figures here yeah okay first thing that i saw here is the retro section and this is an awesome Godzilla and Ultraman here. Mmm, spicy. Some sales stops here. So they are mostly Ren and Ram stuff and some idol stuff. And I even spot some Top Hero Avengers here. So not the stuff that I collect. Frame arms. So yeah, passing on those. A uh, monorail transformers. Hmm. Very, very huge space here. I see some. Oh my god, just look at this. Oh my god, look at that Eva Zero One. Getting shivers on this. Okay, so just you guys get a hold of how big this one is. Check that out. Look at the retro Godzilla. That's why I love video game and toy hunt. So many things to find, even though if I don't uh, buy a lot of stuff, just seeing this awesome piece of work. Let's look at the display. There's dining gale. Look at that. Whew. It's like a museum in here. Look at the rush. Look at this retro, retro toys. Need the man. Hey, there's a bumper man. 
そこえ、まあ、グストコンプレッシャー300ドル。ああ、そうか。With YP。Hello。And she has been、uh, going through the stop here. And as you could see, we're not even finished. There's still a, a huge hallway here. And so many gumpla right now. Not really sure where to look. So many figures. And... I'm trying my best just to show everything to you guys and one of the things that they have here that really surprises me are really retro toys like this one uh, I really I think um, this is a little bit better than the book of super bazaars when it comes to toys toys in general video games not so much but toys damn yeah <laughs> Okay, so they have their dedicated uh, American section here, which also there is an old school truly here. Um, I don't like the face that much, seven thousand five hundred. Uh, acceptable price for an old figure, but still, I don't like the face. So sorry. And there are some. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry about that. 
Hey, Dark Knight. 12,000 for the Dark Knight. And there's the Superman, Batman, Adult of Justice. Okay. Uh, I might forget my name. So we have a lot of Funko Pop here. Deadpool here. Snook. So Mary Poppins. Uh, Superman here. Not uh, pricey. Too pricey for my taste and they're not characters that I am really that into so uh, I'm safe from the Funko Pop okay mark us safe Wifey is enjoying herself because she thinks it's a museum. Yes, and I saw a Barbie. She saw a Barbie. She's actually excited for the Barbie movie because it's starring one of her favorite uh, artists, which is uh, Robbie Margot. And that's the reason why she loves uh, Harley Quinn so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So time for the video game section. So that's how much uh, PlayStation 5s are going for uh, Xbox. So uh, PlayStation 4s, if you want to get an idea. Legacy console, Demon's Place and Complete and Box going for 45,000 yen. Oh. Some more legacy consoles, some switches here. So just to give you guys a idea as for how much they are going for now those are really expensive nowadays the controller so i wish i would have uh, kept mine but sadly i had no space pc fx here some more retro stuff and pricing for some or older uh, consoles uh, complete inbox N64 uh, uh, family computer sorry sorry I'm a little bit tired because uh, we have actually been to two other stores before we got here and it's not really for my content it's more for my wife's content which has nothing to do with uh, video game and toys so um that is primarily one of the reasons why uh i haven't been getting enough uh content lately getting my content out lately because hey nakaluro like this one okay so here's their showcase for they're more expensive uh, little games. So my problem with retro stuff is unless they are shoot em ups, beat em ups, or fighting games, I rarely go for them unless they're 100 gen uh, that is for display. Mostly uh, for the, what do you call this? Um, the RPGs because there are just really, really few jrpgs that are um, full english language support so i think these are mostly the the rpgs the cheaper ones
and this is her pricing i don't know that such a controller exists that's that's a uh, one obscure controller and that's it for this video i go uh, i i hope you guys like the content for today and it's raining cats and dogs outside hopefully you won't have any problems going home because this is a two hour drive from um from our place anyway I, if you like the video please do consider hitting that like button if you like the content or you want to see more of what geek out guide introduces hit that subscribe button with the notification bell see you on the next one this geek and yp is out of here yeah oh.